We'll see if we can get a good look at it with the with the camera phone thing. We'll see. I don't know. We'll check it out later. But that right there, see that? That's what that's what happens when you're putting together a basketball hoop and it weighs like 250 pounds and you're emptying some of the sand out and it slips off the <laughs> dolly you're lifting it with um, to get it to move, to empty the sand out because you're beat up by a bunch of military perverts. Or, and uh, um, yeah, I've had... I have dopamine reactions and different kind of immune system reaction things that are like off the charts and seem superhuman. Okay. No, I can't do them whenever I want. I can't, you know, whew, I'm not like Captain America or Captain Marvel. No. Um, uh, my body just reacts to the environment. And, you know, if you, you know, like Job and, and Jonah in the Bible, you know, you torture me and poison me enough, I get sick, and then I recover. You know, so it's, um, I'm a very human human being, okay, that is definitely connected to my planet and uh, my fellow human beings and the species and the animals a little bit more intensely and uh, more beautifully than most people. Okay. And, uh, you know, that right there, you know, it's... <laughs> It slammed on it, you know. And, you know, you guys look at uh, Mrs. Aflac on the Kimmel show and, whoa, she's hot. I look at that and say, yeah. <laughs> That's what I see when I see Megan Thee Stallion or Kim Kardashian naked or any of the Jenner Kardashian girls naked and, and Mrs. Aflac naked to make more money. That's what I see. <laughs> Is my nerve damage from my chemical poisoning from their business partners. <laughs> you guys, whoa, she's hot. I connect to my exes because they've been punished with me, you know, through uh, aggressive genocidal operations. And so, you know, I all think, of, you know, that's what under what's under uh, Mrs. Affleck's dress. It's, that's what's under Mrs. Affleck's dress. You know, my sins. <laughs> kick me again one more time. Come on, come on, Jada, kick me in the shins. Thank you. Hey, can we let you if you want to kick the other one? Yeah, go ahead. You guys are also damn fucking sexy. Oh yeah, you're sexy as hell. Um, uh, bleh, you know, um, uh, it took a lot of chemical abuse and poisoning and, 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 and just, you know, in, intense manipulation of my family and abuse of everybody around me to get the, uh, military for the military to put me in a position to where I feel like I feel and look like I look and have the pheromones that I put out. Um, uh, you're talking about the most disgusting people in the history of the world. They're just utterly disgusting. Uh, they will sit there and deny the Lord's Prayer, claim Jesus is their God, go on national television and smile on the camera and say how great it is, and Parsons will never see the light of day, and he's nobody. It's a good thing I'm teaching artificial intelligence how to be a human being like Jesus Christ, and they're not, right? That's, that's all I got to say about that, right? <laughs> It's a good thing it's me who's Earl in the Bible and the guy, 1322nd and Redeemer in the Quran and, you know, the Messiah of the Torah. It's, it's a good thing I'm the Messiah of the Torah. None of those peckerwoods on the pussy plantation there. Yeah, that's great, isn't it? It's wonderful. It's wonderful that I'm the Messiah and that we have hope to have the technology reflect someone like me and not the assholes that are using technology to manipulate us with economics. Yes, that's wonderful. Okay. That I'm a beautiful person and and that I'm the Messiah. That's that's about as that's that's as far as the list goes. That's it. That's 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 it. It's wonderful that I'm the Messiah and not all the assholes pretending to be uh, or act like they know or you know acting on Steven Spielberg movies. You know, it's a holy grail. He's Sean Connery. He's the mailman. But you know it's so it's wonderful that I'm the Messiah. And that's about as far as it goes. Pow. As far as, you know, sometimes we walk hand in hand by the sea and we breathe in the salt. And that ain't happening right now. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> the world is like an apple spinning silently in space. Hey, another idea to make lots of money to have sex with a mindless bimbo that wants to go to fashion shows. Yeah, I know. It's fuck you. Okay. <laughs> fuck you very much. Thank you. And uh, so you get these people, you know, last night, you know, every time I drive down that way to take things to the recycler. There's this business that at their home and they have these big signs, you know, God, show us your glory, Lord. 
bless the nation whose Lord is whose God is the Lord. You're like, it doesn't say that. Okay, you know, and you can guarantee that the assholes at Holloman and White Sands and Bliss know that I have to drive by that. Like, hey, wag your dick in your face. We're fucked. You ain't got any nude pictures of your wife on your phone? No, but you do. Okay, yeah. Oh, I missed. I like her boobies. Don't you? You don't? You just fucked her and took pictures and sent her back home to Gary and the kids? You're swell. What a nice guy. How many guys at Fort Huachuca did that? You know, how many guys, Nate Reynolds is trained guys at NSI did that. You know, I worked with uh, Kate's biological dad, you know. It's her birthday. Yeah, I know. But I'm her dad. All right. And you pieces of shit deny Kate and other people the hope to live in the kingdom of heaven another day. You are disgusting piles of crap. The only hope your children have to live beautiful lives is not... Um, Sir Alec Guinness, it's me. It's not Mark Hamill, it's me. It's not some chick with a British accent that's supposed to be Mark Hamill's daughter, it's me. Okay, I don't know, whatever, is it Mark Hamill's? Or it's No, it's, it's Harrison Ford's daughter. Oh, Harrison Ford's daughter. Okay, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. They were getting on my last fucking nerve. Okay, so, got there a long ass time ago. Okay, <laughs> when did they get on my, when Donald Trump got elected president? That's when they hit my last fucking nerve. Because you know, I told my dad, I'm not rooting for either one of those. I would like to live the Lord's Prayer, and I'm not going to play in their popularity contest of genocide and their WWE and all the re wrestling uh, bullshit and fan duel. And f they're, they're gross. They're absolutely gross people. You know, and you get the, um, you know, the, what, during the time when I came here and I saw how full of shit they were because they had uh, the Koch brothers, who's supposed to be George Cyrus' rival, you know, they're too large and in charge, and Cyrus can't do anything about it to show the world that I'm the Messiah. No. Be they liberal or be they conservative. Okay. If anybody is humble enough to understand the way I think, speak, and live, they should say that's the Messiah. You know, like Philip, you know, with, with the, you know, what good comes out of Nazareth, but boom, boom, right? We found him. We found the Messiah. Yeah, but the only one who stood up for him, he didn't stand up for him. He denied him and then and then realized that they fucked up and not enough of them got up and stood by the faith of Father Abraham. Then he had to be crucified because no one else would join him. Okay, Peter and the rest of them. Right, and that's been happening ever since. I was born by the I wasn't born by the river. I was born at the corner of Alameda, Maine, and El Paseo. It's now an office building for business, you know. And I watched the news last night, and they quote Edward R. Murrow, you know, we have to be credible, believable, and truthful. I think it was their news station that interviewed me when I was working with the Obama campaign people that gave me a job to help me pay my bills to make it look like they were good people and the other people were bad people. And then when they gave me a... a a uh, job with a Christ that was supported by a Christian school in Texas. They put me in the back with chemicals that rot the balls off a bull and their uh, their uh, Wells Fargo um, money sending thing took video of the girls they wanted to supply back to the sex slave trade market in Mexico, like old Joy Opayo. Yeah, but the liberals know it and the conservative knows it, but they're still in business. Yeah, so which one's the bad guy and which one's the good guy? Looks like you've all been Vince McMahon. Okay, guys, I love you. <sighs> he hate me. XFL, XFL. Make it stop. Eh, they don't want to make it stop. They're addicted. They're like a bunch of people snorting coke and, f and fucking prostitutes at the Wudong Whorehouse. It's just who they are, man. You watch that Mulan movie? Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's no mention of peace. Just a rich guy who kills the other guy who tries to replace the rich guy as the top fucker, and the women want to be the top fucker. It's like, ooh, that's pretty gross. Yeah, but hey, whatever entertains our kids to keep the status quo, that's what we're going to do. Let's make lots of money.